Hi, it's me, Josephine. And today I'm showing you the favorite books of my daughter from around two to three years old. And they are a bunch of books. It's a little more than I actually said. I said there are 10, but these are more like 10 categories. They're actually a bunch more. <laughs> okay, so I'm really excited. Let's start with the first one. That's the first one. So I have recommended this book already in a different video, but I will link in the corner so you can find it easily. This is really, really cute. My daughter loves it. It is about the bee and me. <laughs> no, not me, but it's about the bee. It's very, very cute because a lot of adults or humans in general, they are afraid of bees. And this book is just teaching you that the bees are actually really important. It also has this moving thing inside and it's it's just very, very cute. Here you can see it better. So when you move the page, he's waving, so goodbye. It is really cute and it helps kids to understand what bees are actually doing and what we need them for. And at the end, what is really great, there's a lot of good information about bees, what actually can even teach adults. So a really good book, Bee and Me, and it is by the, by the author L.J. McGuinness. It is really, really cute. That's the author. That's the name of the book. And I was very lucky because I found it very cheap in a Goodwill store. The next one, what I'm going to show you, that is something I have twice. I have it in two languages. And I have recommended that book before too. It's The Rainbow Fish. That's the English version. That's the German version. These are both board books, so you can also get them as softer books. The reason why we have it twice is, of course, because we raise our daughter trilingual, Spanish, German, and English. But also because when I bought the English one, I was pretty disappointed realizing that there is nothing glittering and shimmering and I started to cut out these little pieces and try to do it by myself because I just really, I was just really disappointed. Here you can still see it. There, there's nothing here. You see, I already put some stickers. To me, this was just a very great thing of my childhood to remember that and this just must glitter and you see it already here in the front no glitter and then you see the gem one yay <laughs> there's are no stickers this is just how the book looks like that's how it must be to me i mean that's just so much better i don't know why they did it that way in the us without the glitter i was really disappointed but the story of the book, of course, that's exactly the same. And it is a really great story. It's from Marcus Pfister. But the story is really cute. It's a very famous story about how sharing can change your life without that, you know, you're forcing your kid to share or so. Because I personally don't do that. I'm not telling my daughter that she's got to share her toys. If she doesn't want to share something, she doesn't have to. She's only sharing the things she wants to share from herself. Because I wouldn't like if somebody would force me to share my things either. <laughs> okay, next point. These are actually four books I have here in my hand. They kind of do all the same. And let's just start with the Christmassy one because it's almost Christmas time. It's this one here. I really like that book is in two languages. It is in Spanish and in English. That is really great for us. And there is a baby and my daughter is upset with babies. She loves them so much. And it's just a baby that is so messy here sometimes. And yeah, like her, we like it. <laughs> that looks kind of like when we built that. <laughs> yeah, it is really cute. And what is important, what I'm talking about is that there are a lot of things where you can show and then we say the name, what it is. And this is actually the point of 
why I have this book here right now. This is something very interesting for her now. I thought actually that you would do things like this when the kids are younger, but now she's two and she loves to just hear all the, the names of the things again over and over. But this might be different if your child is not learning as many languages as our child does. Because, of course, three languages, that is a little bit different than if you just learn one language. Because most kids with two, they completely speak fluent. Our daughter, she doesn't. She is saying some words, but she's not talking fluent. She's talking in all the languages and she can make us understand what she wants. But like I said, it's a little different if your child is learning more than one language. So here in English, the book, what also says all the things and she really likes that. And it has also a little story inside. At the end, it has some sort of a tongue twister because there's a second book inside, which is very hard for me as a not first language English speaker to say, but it makes me getting better every time I read this for her. <laughs> Both of those books I found in a bookshelf in a free little library here around the corner. It's really great. I love those free little libraries because you can just exchange so fast if you don't like something and find something new and you don't have to always buy things or learn things from the library, especially now with COVID where the people don't really want to have the libraries open. It's a really great option. Okay, then we have this one. It's called Wimmelbuch. That's how we call it in German. In Germany, the, the books are a little different like those. They, there's just way more going on. There is a lot going on. You see how there is so much going on and what I love is in every picture they're moving on those people. You find the same people, the same animals again, doing something totally different or just our father with their walk, with their, their way, what they are doing. He like, she just lost her head. Here you see the dog has stolen the head, somebody's trying to catch him. And before she was still wearing her head here. It's pretty fun and you can find all those things and look through them and here you see what you're supposed to find but of course you can find way more than just what is written here and this is really great because you sit there for a while and you can see just so much and you say all the names and it's also very great for my husband because he can say it just in, in Spanish easily because these are just pictures and, and then we've got here, this one that's also in German. It actually had some sound, but we are not able to get those batteries here in the US. The ones we found here were just thicker. They did not fit, so we have it without sound. What's fine with me? And you see here on the side what you're supposed to find. There's also a little story. And then you can just go ahead and find those things. And she really enjoys to do that. It is really cute. So this is all kind of the same category. All those four books with finding things, naming things and learning the words. And now let's move on to the next. This season has changed. It's winter now. So th this book is still very interesting because the seasons, that's just something you don't learn so fast. You learn it in time because the seasons are constantly changing. We're looking always at this book. We just stepped um, exploring all the leaves and jumping through them and jumping in all the piles that people made. <laughs> Poor people, I'm so sorry, but we did that. <laughs> Kids! And I hope we can see something of that soon. Not so sure, but let's cross the fingers, press the thumbs. Yeah, that's how they do it in the US. That's how they do it in Germany. Wherever you are, do what works for you. <laughs> and let's hope that we will have some snow this year. That would be really great. So books that explain the seasons are really, really great. So your child can really understand all of those different things. And of course, find him or herself like, oh, there's a leaf. Yeah, we just had those leaves. So that's connection. It should. It should come in time with those books. So in this age of two, the kids connect more and more with others and they have also this 
kind of conversations with other little kids in their age when they play with each other, usually more than right now because of COVID, but it is really great to be able to make understand someone else if something is too much. And we constantly teach our kids to be nice and all of that by just showing them how to be nice because of course we're nice to our kids, hopefully. <laughs> I, I, I yeah. Anyway, and to show them that you can make other kids stop and say, hey, no, that's too much. I have this book for my daughter. This is in German. Like you probably realize if it's not your language. <laughs> it's it's really great. It explains just that so this is this is little Jacob and he was pushing him and then he tells him no stop this is too much I don't want that please be gentle please do that way and please you know play nice together and I really think that books like this would teach your child also to, to take care of yourself and to explain when something is too much are also important if your child is not able to do that by him or herself even though our daughter is definitely able to do that by herself. We still have that book because I just think that this is something great to really know that if something is, is too much that you can do that. Because if you say always no, then maybe somebody doesn't hear you. And in this book, they explain that you can also do this move and say, stop, no, I don't want this. And I really like that. Next category, places where you actually have been. Really great. So I found this, I know it looks very bad, but my husband tried to fix it a little bit. I found this book in one of those little free libraries about Oregon. And of course we live in Oregon, we live in Portland. And so we were looking for that and we have been on those places and that is really great. We've been here on this ocean. We've, we did those things. We were a bunch of times in this rose garden. And we have seen all of those things and this is just really great. We were walking there. It is really cool to have things you have actually seen in a book and to find yourself in those moments and just, oh, look, that's what we did. Okay, we have done this one here, but I don't think that we would ever do that. <laughs> Poor animals. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everybody has to decide for themselves. But I hope we will do one day this. <laughs> now she's still too little. I really think that is really cool to have books of places where you actually have been. That is something kind of cool to me. But well, we have also this one so he can talk to her in Spanish easy. And we can explore here the beach and the sunny weather, the summer. She really, really loves to read that book because it always reminds her to our holidays, the holidays, first holidays, when here was everything in smoke and we had to run and fly far, far away to South Carolina. And yeah, it's, it's really cool because it reminds her to that, that we had at the beach. I mean, she doesn't really know about the smoke and all of that bad stuff. Okay next category books where you can find something behind something this book is like the book one of the books what she really wants to read constantly because this cute kitty here is playing hide and seek with his friends you see she's very rough we had to fix it a few times already and you can look behind all of those pages and she just really really loves to do that and she really enjoys doing that we have kind of the same here with this grandma book where you can always look oh here teddy in grandma's suitcase and you can just look what is behind the things oh pajama <laughs> or night night how is it called a red night gown night gown i have no idea how to pronounce that Nachthemd. That's German. Now you learned your word. And then we have this one here, what I kind of put in the same category, even though there is not really something behind a door. But you do have 
this thing where you always go from one to the other one and it's kind of changing and she likes to go there with her fingers inside. That was actually my book. That's why it is in German. And I believe I, I also have... Yes, that's my creation. I did that. <laughs> as a little, as a very little child. So, I think this book is so famous that you can find this in every single language. The Little Caterpillar by Eric Kali. I hope I pronounce it right. That's just my German way to pronounce it. Maybe it's more like Eric. <laughs> okay, and the next one. My daughter, like I already said, she loves babies. Babies are her thing. And that's why she found this book in one of those little free libraries. No, I'm not getting a new baby. <laughs> but she really loves that. Because in this book, they explain what you've got to do with the baby and change the diaper and push the baby. And of course, my friends, they do have babies and she does all of those things. So she knows all of those things and it reminds her to it. And it's, it's just very cute. Another category is books that are actually for older kids. We have already some books where we love to read to her like very beautiful fairy tales from all over the world because there's some fairy tales what you should maybe wait a little longer but there are also some fairy tales what you can read already to your child and we really love to read her every evening i am nursing her to sleep and my husband is reading during that time for all of us and it is really beautiful and it is also great for us adults not to read always the same baby stories. And for her, it is great to hear more and more words. And those books of this Barefoot collections, they are really, really great. We have a few of them. This is just one of them. And it's also really great that you have all these different stories from different places. I hope you can see. So there are stories inside from Hawaii, Mexico, from Ireland, Germany, Sweden, Russia, Japan and so much more. I really, really enjoy that. As last, we really enjoy right now to have books where you can sing with your child. There are some songs inside or also some rhymes. She really, really loves that. So I've got to go now. My daughter's waiting and really needs me. I wish you a beautiful time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up and I see you in my next video. Goodbye.